Hi, everybody. You're watching On the Town, and I'm your host, Tanya. Thank you for joining us again another week. We really appreciate you. Uh, don't forget to go like, and share, and subscribe this uh, video. So today, uh, we have a very special guest. Uh, he is a, well, I call it a garlic farmer. He can correct me if I'm wrong. He's a farmer who is uh, invested in garlic, I'll say. And um, his, his the, the name of his farm is Little D Farm. Uh, and it's up in Canada. Uh, so here's the thing. People don't know that garlic has many uh, healing properties to it. I didn't know that it helps regulate blood. Um, it's almost like a little antibiotic, the natural way. Um, it helps. Well, I didn't know it helps with scabies. I don't know if we want to care about that one. Uh, but it has it has many properties. And I didn't know this. Also, the 70% of garlic is uh, grown somewhere else, uh, not in this country. Uh, and that's sometimes not the best thing. So I thought this story was very interesting because um, A, uh, John, uh, who's our guest, um, didn't even want to be a, a farmer or do garlic or none, none of that. And he said, growing up as a kid, his dad was, but he was like, I'm not doing that, which we all do, right? Because you know, when you're in a kid, you're like, I'm not doing that. But then you realize that, wait a minute, this could actually be a good, uh, mental and great and physical investment in many ways. So here with us to talk about garlic farming and and let our viewers know a little bit something about it is uh, owner of Little uh, D Little Farm, far, Little D Farm, say it correct, uh, John DePass. Hello, welcome. Hi, hi Tanya. You? Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate you. Um, okay. Um, um, so, so Toronto, Canada, woohoo. So first of all, hey, y'all to, to Toronto, uh, to all your people out there. I appreciate you for watching. Um, tell us, uh, how did you get into farming? Okay. I worked for financial services mm -hmm. company in, in, in Canada, in, in Toronto area uh -huh. for about 30 years. Oh, really? I sold mutual funds, life insurance, disability, all that sort of thing. And I, 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 I grossed a lot, but the, my net my net figure was often far less than, uh, far less impressive than the gross. Uh -huh. And in the last 10 years, it, it was mm -hmm. after, you remember when America had this war with Iraq mm -hmm. and after 9-11, that's of the second war, and there was a recession and so for 10 years in the industry, in the, in the mutual funds and stocks and stuff, mm -hmm. people, very few people made money. S some lost a lot of money. Mike, I was fortunate, my, most of my clients were invested quite um, conservatively. Mm -hmm. So they didn't lose a lot, but they didn't make anything for 10 years. Wow. Of course, not many people in that, in that environment wanted to invest. Mm -hmm. So my income dropped substantially, substantially, about 40% my income dropped over 10 years. Mm -hmm. So needless, it wasn't great. I was not a superstar or anything like that in the industry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I really wasn't netting a lot of money. And then a 40% drop in income, that, that, that's very, that takes a lot of getting used to. Mm -hmm. so bottom line, I was making, and I wanted to change. But I didn't know what to do. Okay. And my girlfriend at the time, mother, her mother would plant garlic in her backyard. Mm -hmm. And that, and she gave me the idea of planting garlic in our backyard too. Wow. I made a little box um, and I just planted some. And really that's how I said, I knew nothing about garlic. I didn't even know what it looked like. Didn't know what the plant looked like, nothing. But I have some great friends in an in in um, an organization called YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> and I started. I started. My it it became it became my best friend YouTube. Wow. And then I bought a book called um, not Backyard God. It's called. Yeah, I had wrote it down somewhere too. Darn it. Uh, uh, it's, okay. called, it's called. It's um, called. Oh. Not backyard gardening, um, square foot gardening. That's it. It is called square oh, that's, foot. Oh, gardening. oh, backyard or square square foot? Square foot gardening by Mel Bartholomew, uh -huh. an American guy, and that I think that book changed my life. Really? 
Yes. Wow. And wow. then I started going to talks. There's this Canadian, uh, French Canadian guy. I can't remember his name. And I went to around three presentations. And he, his his deal was he you could make a hundred thousand dollars off a ten acre property. What? Yes, per year. Um, really, what he really meant was he has he has three um, farmers market stores. Mm-hmm. So he retails, he, he grows a lot of vegetables and retails it at these farmer's market stores. Right. Good. If, if you're into retailing, excellent. I have a friend, one of my uh, friends right, right now does it. He has around two farmer's market, market stores mm-hmm. and he grows his own vegetables. He also Uh-oh. coming on a station here in Ontario. Uh-huh. And that's how he makes his living. He doesn't work, and that's why he's not a rich guy, but he, he's he does pretty good. Really? Um, yeah. So, so he grows his vegetables and sells it at the farmers, at his farmers, at his stores, at the farmers markets. Now, now I heard it. You can have a crop in like nine months or something. Is that true? It's like what, it's, I, I, yeah, I heard that there's two options: is to harvest garlic, hand and mechanical. Okay. So. So, yeah, can you explain that to part to us? Like, okay. what makes it so mysterious? In and hard? Canada, no, it is a different operation in, in sunny climes like California, which is your largest garlic growing um, state in America. California produces most of the garlic in America. Uh, really? But the majority of garlic, like America, like Canada, the majority of garlic is imported. I was going to say it's imported from China, from what I researched. Okay. Yes. Well, in Canada, it's around, I think it's around 70% of the garlic in Canada. Yeah, 70%, well, yeah. yeah. Is imported from Canada. Yeah. Spain, some from Argentina, mm-hmm. places like that. Mm. In Ontario, I understand there is need for 50,000 50, acres of garlic is what's needed to, to, to satisfy the demand for Ontario, oh, including wow. Chinese garlic. But only is only about ten thousand acres are are planted. What? So when we have, I'm, I'm, I'll soon co- answer your question. I'm just giving you background. So when we harvest in July, by September it's done. You can't get any. You virtually cannot get any Canadian garlic any longer. You have to use the imported garlic for the rest of the year. What? That is how, and I'm pretty sure it's the same thing in America. Mm-hmm. This garlic. Local production is minimal, mm. and um, wow. most of it is imported stuff. So, so that's uh, that's not good. That's great for you. Uh, it's good that's, for not, the farmer. that's not it's good for opposite. me, the consumer. Yes, because I now and I have to take whatever I get, and and while I, you know I never want to throw anybody under the bus, I hear um, many things about many people. I won't say you know because we want to <laughs> keep it clean. Um, but many things about fake garlic. And I've even found out how to tell. You have to have the bulb. If the bulb is not there and it's flat white, that's one way. But also when it's white versus yellow versus uh, beige. Uh, is I've heard way. it all too, but I, yeah. I, yeah. personally, I, I don't believe it. Names. I didn't mention any names. You saw I that. Know, and I'm not naming anybody, but I personally don't believe it. I just think it's just talk. Okay. Um, it's just a, they, they, they grow a different type of garlic than what we grew their garlic is much lighter. It doesn't have this the the pungency or the the taste as our garlic do. Our garlic is much stronger. So <laughs> I will tell you why, but I'm I'm not indulging in gossip, so I won't tell you why. Okay, <laughs> I'll just say I, I, I've heard it. I've heard it. I have nothing to back up my my theory. No, but I'm just saying if you buy garlic, you better see a bulb at the bottom, and it's not supposed to be so perfect and pretty. And you better don't buy it minced already. Try to buy it real garlic, like they will kind. You have to break yourself because that is the only way you'll really know what's in your garlic. Well, <laughs> if you say so, I will. I won't go there. I don't know anything about that. I, I just, I just did a little bit of research. It wasn't much, and and <laughs> actually, if I had time, I would have taken it to a lab. And then we really could find out because that's what I did with some meat. That's, and no, found that's out. the answer, and that I have nothing me. to back up my theory. Yeah, yeah, no, and me and me neither at this current time. Okay. Now you asked me a question I haven't answered. I'm sorry. You asked me how do, how did I get into garlic? Yes. And I started the answer, but I didn't finish it. Yes. So it was my girlfriend who first mentioned it to me. Okay. I made a little box 
in my backyard okay. and I grow four by eight and I little square feet and I grew it was one two three four four garlic per square four garlic bulbs per square foot that's what I did okay. how do you how, so the question is how do you grow garlic yes you get a bulb I, I go to Write this down. I go to a, I used to go to a farmer's store, but it's a little more expensive there. Mm -hmm. And I would buy a package of around 10 garlic bulbs. Mm -hmm. Each of them, I split them open. Mm -hmm. And in each of them, you'd have these cloves. Now, there are two types of garlic. The ones we grow in Canada is called the hard neck garlic. Mm -hmm. The ones you grow in America is called the soft neck garlic. Okay. The soft neck garlic has about 10, 12 cloves. Okay. In the hard neck garlic, it has around five, six, seven cloves. Okay. But they are usually much bigger. Yes. And the hard neck garlic is better, is, is better grown in colder, cooler climates. Okay. The soft neck garlic is usually grown in, in hot climates. Okay. Now we can grow the, the soft neck here too. Mm -hmm. And it as I understand, it's grown in Quebec, and it is planted in about April, March, okay. April, and okay. harvested three months later. Right. Whereas the hardneck garlic in Canada, we grow it in October. So in in the fall, we, we put it in the ground. Okay. We leave it in the ground over winter. So it's okay. covered by snow and everything. And then in spring, it starts popping up. And in July, we reap. And that's how we grow garlic here in Canada. That's how we grow the hard neck garlic. Now, I am told that the hard neck garlic, mm -hmm. if you don't plant it in winter, mm -hmm. you can simply put it in a fridge in, and keep it in a cold temperature for about two months. Okay. And then plant it in spring. I've never done it, but I'm told that's how you do it. Really? So you yeah, you eliminate putting it in the ground over winter, mm -hmm. and you sort of um, put manufacture the, the the cold climate and put it in a fridge, or even mm. freeze over the wind over for a month or so, and then plant it. And that's how you plant hardneck garlic if you're in a hot country. Oh wow, that is very interesting. So basically, it doesn't require a lot of uh, time and um and like and you know some major amount of investment that's impossible right you can actually start with just your bed first right good good question so now you're leading me in that okay. did i finish oh yeah. sorry let me just com complete how yeah. you grow garlic you okay. you just you, you take out the clothes okay you plant each clove three inches up three to six inches apart mm -hmm. about two inches down uh -huh. They say, you know, it, the cloves, you plant the root section of each clove mm -hmm. in the ground and stick the other part up in the air and then you cover it. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you, there's no validity because I've done it both ways mm -hmm. and it, it grows. It might take a little longer, a week or so to, to grow, but it still grows. So okay. stick it in the ground about two inches, cover it. I cover my over winter, I covered with with straw the beds yeah. of with straw okay. for a number of reasons. It helps with the weeds as well because that is your greatest enemy. That's oh. my greatest enemy. Weeds. Oh, weeds. Because weeds are not your friend. Oh, so, so what does you the plant it, Yeah. What does the straw do? The, the weeds straw, don't like. I it? think protects it. Two things. It protects. Sort of gives it a, 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 a protection over the winter and two. It keeps discourages the growth of weeds in spring because it covers the ground and there's no light going. It's so no weed can or not no because it does grow through, yeah, but yeah. It, it it dampens the the growth of the of the weeds. Oh wow! Now each clove next year, when I plant in October next year, each clove will turn into a garlic. So from one bulb of the six cloves, you get six garlic next year. Wow. Ta-da! So your investment grows by six mm. each year. So if you put 
In other words, if you put one dollar yeah. next year, you get six. Now, not all of them will grow, and right. some of them will not be big enough. Mm -hmm. So, I usually say fifty percent. Okay. You get out of it, but okay. in other words, three, three out of one. Right. Three to wow. one. That so, if you plant a thousand garlic cloves, you're going to be able to have. What's that? Mm -hmm. I'm six. Out. Six. That's six times six. I don't. Uh, can you see me? I can't see you. Yeah, I, I can see you. I can see oh. you. Well, it's okay. I can't see you, sir. As long as you can yeah. see, that's fine. I can see so you. Next yep. year, if you have a thousand, you can, you, you're going to have, you keep back the best ones to replant, the best cloves to replant. Right. So you wow. keep back 20% of them. Okay. And the other eighty percent yourself. Wow! And that's that, how you make your money. That is amazing. And so, where, what, how long have you been growing now? And are you at the point? Uh -huh. Yeah, Tanya. I started about nine or ten years ago in my little Really? Backyard. Oh wow! I failed miserably. Miser, you name it, I did it. Really? Every which nothing. I had to start over around three or four times. Sometimes because I, I, I want to try other things and I tried other things and it, nothing worked. Right. But I didn't give up. Okay. That's just, that is the secret of life. I just, yeah. the mistakes I made this year, uh -huh. I, I tried to identify what the mistakes were and I corrected mm -hmm. it for next year. Okay. And after nine years, these are, this is what you must do. You must prepare the soil. These are, these are critical. You must prepare the bed or the soil properly before you plant. In other words, the soil must be fluffy and soft and nice. You must use compost. You can buy the compost mm -hmm. from a farm. Or, but when you go to the store, it's usually more expensive. You must buy compost, mix it with soil, and it must be fluffy. So you'll be, you should be able to the clove into the ground with your finger. No problem. Okay. Two inches down. And then okay. cover it. Okay. So the bed must be properly made. That is critical. No weeds. Take it out. If you're in a cold climate like can you're doing harney, you're going to leave it in the ground over winter. Mm -hmm. You can cover it with straw if you want or not. I don't use pesticides. Good. But I have a lot of weeds. My problem is weeds. Okay. My neighbor grows mm -hmm. corn mm -hmm. and he has no weeds. Wow. So how come he has no weeds and I have right. weeds? I'm right. not that lucky. I can't even win $10 from a lottery ticket. So how come I'm so lucky with the weeds and he's not? Obviously, right. as most farmers do, though they won't tell you this, they use pesticides. Roundup. Uh, and the and, and uh, Now, so like when I when I go to the farm on the weekend, I'm going to find a lot of weeds. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try and do different things this year to try and cut back on the weeds for next year. Okay. Um, that's, that takes a little getting, but I'll, I'll skip that part for now. And um, right now, for most people, just even on a balcony, get a pot, make sure the soil is properly, go to the store and buy some soil. But okay. it must be stuffed. And you plant, you buy one garlic, start with one, but garlic blood, split it open and stick the, the cloves in the ground three inches apart. Right. There you go. Make sure your water is not a thirsty plant. So water it once a week. Right. And make sure you you pinch out all you take out all the weeds. No weeds. No, 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 no. It's no not your friend. Uh, and yeah, watch it grow. Up. If you're in a place like New York, keep it mm -hmm. on your balcony over, over winter. You'll be shocked. Let the snow fall. No problem. Right. In, in in March, April, you see it popping out through the ground. You'll be shocked. And then you'll have a, you'll have, you'll, you'll reap that, those those five or six garlic bulbs. Mm -hmm. And you can eat them and enjoy them. Wow. And what about, um? so when do you, do you ever bring them to the marketplace? To try to sell them? I, okay. Now, that's another subject. 
<laughs> the way my this is my business plan. Okay. I don't want to do this just for an occupation. I want to make a pension from it. Right. If I had a thousand plants, bulbs of garlic, mm -hmm. let us say I get a dollar a piece. Mm -hmm. Next year alone, I'll have a thousand dollars. Frankly, that's not going to make me rich. <laughs> I want to have a hundred thousand garlic. Right. So rather than making a thousand dollars, I sell a hundred, hundred thousand dollars. Right. That to me makes my, that to me is worth my while. Mm -hmm. I'm not in here just for occupation. I want to make an, an independent right. income that I control that yeah. I, it's all me, not okay. anybody else. I don't have any boss, nothing. It's, yes, it's not a lot of work. Well, if you had to plant it by hand, mm -hmm. if you had to plant a hundred thousand garlic by hand, that's a lot of work. Yes, that's true. What I do, mm -hmm. I bought an old tractor and I name it Bertha. Bertha the tractor yes, is but... seven years old, <laughs> and uh, I just bought it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to I bought a tractor and I'm going to buy a planter to, for the tractor to pull. I'm going to buy a, a reaper for the tractor to pull and reap. I'm going to buy all this equipment so I can do it mostly all by myself. No more labor. Right. Just me and my wife. And no, karma is a thing. Eh? Yeah, when yeah. my father wanted me to come help him, I said no. Right. I have four Obviously. children and nine grandkids. Mm. And what? would you believe? <laughs> no After nine, nine, 13. Only one says, yes, Dad, I'll come and help you. Uh, what do you call that? I call it karma. I call it the rich son. <laughs> <laughs> Just like how I wasn't in. <laughs> yes. That's I how it goes, though. Because my, my, my mom, my adopted mom, uh, they had a farm down south and we used to go down like almost every year and be like, okay, you have to learn how this goes. Just, just She just wanted us to know. And we'd be like, oh, uh, and they had, I think one of them had a shrimp boat or something. We go pull the shrimp into the net. It was just crazy. But looking back, I'm like, she was teaching us about legacy and long term wealth, how to work for yourself, how to earn your own keep. And we had no idea. So I feel no bad. Idea. That I, no idea. No idea. So I don't know if, if this show will trigger any interest amongst our people. What I'm telling you, this is not the only, but this is a way. This is a way. You don't have to know anything. You don't have to have a lot of money. I rent land. I don't have any money to buy acres of land or to buy million right. dollars worth of equipment. You don't need that. Right. My strategy is I work by get friends. You don't have any money to pay labor. Get friends. It's hard though. That part is hard. You may have to pay some days workers to come help right. you. Right. To plant. Because that is the hard. The planting is the hardest part. The, hard, the planting? The planting when you have to do it by hand, okay. Wow. wow, so don't I would discourage you from borrowing the people's money, don't borrow the money, right? Because that doesn't make sense. Grow slowly, mm -hmm. whatever you sell from the cash, re get some to replant, sell them, then you use that money to buy equipment. Don't right. borrow people's money, let no. them stay with their money. You yep. grow, you grow internally yep. and organically. And so that after five years, to be honest with you, after 10 years, I had some setbacks, so don't follow my example. But you can do this in five years that you can be financially secure. You uh, can. Okay. But if you've never had an experience, you're going to make mistakes. Wow. Don't be afraid of mistakes. Right. People are always make, afraid of making mistakes. That's not, that's how you learn. You cannot be successful unless you learn, mm. unless you, learn, you make mistakes. Wow. That's the only way you can learn. It's wow. very difficult to be successful if you don't make mistakes. Virtually impossible. Yes. You have to make mistakes. Yes. Don't get other thing is don't give up ever. Right. Learn after you make the mistake and you say, Wow. Try and find what was your mistake. Mm. You correct it and next year you try again. And yes. if you make a mistake again, try and find correct try and correct it. Don't do it again and you do it again. Wow. Well, that that's awesome. Determination. Deter yeah. But 
I, that's why I don't think you should borrow money. Right. Absolutely. Pay for everything cash. Even though in the early years you lose money, that's yeah. all right. You're not lo- you only lose when you give up. Right. You will never lose if you don't give up. If you wow. keep doing it, and if you keep start doing it on a small basis, so that when you do mis- mistakes and you lose, you don't lose a lot of money because you didn't invest in it. And after it is successful, I say, aha, found the formula, mm-hmm. go with it. Right. And that's the secret. Mm. Wow. And you have to learn how to store it. You learn everything on YouTube. Right. Backyard gardening. There's this there's this French Kenyan guy. I think his name is Forty or something like that. Mm-hmm. But you just YouTube have lots of information. Some of mm-hmm. it is nonsense, but right. filter it out. And you keep the ones that work for you. Work. Try yeah. stuff. Don't be afraid of mistakes. Try stuff, and just go ahead. It doesn't have to be garlic. Right. But. I like garlic because it doesn't have many um, much stuff. Right. Uh, There's this right. It's just certain simple things, and you follow those, and that's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Simple. It's not a lot of work. Right. It's just in the harvesting mm-hmm. and in planting and a little maintenance. You don't have to sit around and go to go eight to five job. Keep right. it. Keep it day job. Work, hustle all you want, but do this on the side. Right. And if you want to go big with it, go with. It. If you don't. Do whatever you want. But right. I'm telling you, this can be a side gig. And I think it doesn't work for me yet. I think it can be your pension for life. Wow. Give it, give it five to ten years, though. Yeah, see, but, I, I, I like the not? long-term thing, that, that, it, it, that it's the possibilities there, that long-term yes. wealth and generational wealth is there. If one yes. of your grandkids say, you know, Grandpa, show me how to do this, it's over. <laughs> it doesn't have to. You can do vegetables and get a yeah. little farmers market stall. Right. Yes, it's a side gig on every Saturday, you have, or maybe sometimes Saturday and Sunday you go and right. sell yeah. vegetables. But right. grow your own. Yeah. Learn how to do it. Make yeah. your mistakes yeah. and sell. That's, that's that's how you do it in 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 farming. Well, you don't have you you don't have to buy any hundreds of acres or equipment have expensive equipment. Right. Well, go, go start at one acre or two acres, or even yeah. your backyard, doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like that. You said that starting with the box, start with a box. That's, that's what I did because that that's, I didn't know anything about it. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the that that to me is the starter of all things. Because, like, I have a plant here, I don't know if you can see it because I have the screen on, but can you see that? No, you can't see it. Darn it, I, I, no, you can't really see it. Uh, I see, yes, I see it. It's green. Like those, those are going to be peppers. And I started right here in my living room because I was insistent. I was like, I'm tired of having to buy peppers. They're like $6 and they're not even really organic. Right. So I just started it here and I was like, oh my God, these I have to get a big a big uh, thing or something for this because it's getting bigger. But I yeah. started with that and I like that concept. Start small. Yeah. Start or small. even you get a box, a four by eight. Uh-huh. And you, you, you don't have to buy the book by... Um, Bartholomew guy, you right. go to the library and rent it. Right, exactly. Or a seat, a seat on sale for five dollars. Right, five dollars US. Mm-hmm. If you can afford, but if you don't, if you can't afford, rent. Go to the library and borrow it. Right, it right. is an eye opener. I tell you, it's an eye opener, and the possibility is just wow. You be and shocked. Like, well, it shocked me. I don't know if it shocks everybody, but yeah. it did shock me. Yeah, of what well, is possible? Well, yeah, and then one about. Three years in, mm-hmm. I started growing tomatoes and even onions and same thing, peppers and those um what are those vegetables name? I can't remember the name. I started growing a lot of stuff mm. and we, we had it at our table on Sundays. Mm. The joy that yes. and pleasure that get that gives. And it, this is not coming from the supermarkets, it's coming from your backyard. Yes, it's 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 a, it's the way to go right now. It really is because you really don't know what you're eating. Corn, I grew, I grew, I grew on corn. Yeah. You know, you can you don't know, see people doing. As there's a guy here in Toronto mm-hmm. who sells corn, mm-hmm. um, boiled corn and roast corn, okay. and he makes a corn soup, and he oh. makes a living from that from uh-huh. the from a farmers market downtown Toronto. Mm-hmm. Makes a pretty good living too. Corn takes 
uh, was it 90 days to grow? And mm -hmm. there are people who plant every 90 day, every day for 90 days, they mm -hmm. plant seeds. Mm -hmm. So every day they have corn and they go out the side of the road and from their car sell mm -hmm. corn. Wow. I see people doing that. Wow. So Amazing. corn is another thing you can run. And you, yeah. you know, I've yeah. seen I've been to the, the the flea market and seen corn, they roast it and they dip it in um rosemary and all sort of things. Yeah. And yeah. sell it for three well in Canada and sell it for three dollars fifty a cob. The yeah, corn well, doesn't take ten cents to grow. Yeah. Yeah, there are all sorts of possibilities. It doesn't have to be garlic. All sorts of things you can do. Yeah, it, it, there's, there's that's, more work than garlic, though. You must understand. You're not getting that. There's a price to pay. Yes, and there's time involved, invested. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. 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 I, so didn't I, want I, that. I don't want that. I don't, yeah, I'm not I even like interested it. in retailing. That's why I just stick with garlic. I don't want right, that. and that's why garlic is a perfect opportunity because it's for not me. But time. It might not be for, for everybody. You. Right, for you. And um, women need to, especially women. Uh -huh. Oh, I can't emphasize enough. Women, mm -hmm. especially, I think this is a perfect match for them. This is a match made in heaven. Really? You do want to decide gig with farming, it's a match made in heaven. Okay. And, or even growing goats. Well, you don't eat much goat in the state. Chickens <laughs> or eggs. Yeah. You'll be shocked. Go to YouTube. And yeah, so well, I, don't, I, I try market. not to eat any meat, and especially in America, so that's not going to work for me. Exactly. <laughs> I'm a vegetable but girl. All sorts of opportunities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's you can um, do all sorts of things. Yeah, it's well, limitless. Yeah. Go whatever way you're interested in doing. Yes, I see. Well, John DePass, thank you so much from Little D Farms for uh, for letting us know about garlic and how to grow garlic and why it's important. Um, I like the aspect of it that it can create long-term generational wealth if you want to get into it that much um, yes. and that you can be your own your own boss. So you can grow as much as you want and say, let me go to the market this weekend. And if that's enough for you, then that's it. You know, yep. uh, I love this, this, uh, you know, uh, this uh, entrepreneurial uh, quality that it brings. You know, you do your own thing. So thank you so much for um taking the time to come on the town i know you just got off i know you're that's a you know you're doing the double double shift <laughs> uh so i appreciate that's you. Surprise you, you got to be, there's nothing come free right Ain't nothing this is not the lottery no nope. you got to work at it you got to put in something to get something Ooh, that's like how that. life that is life there's no I there's like no that. such thing uh yeah sometimes somebody will win a lottery but very few very you got to put in your time well or money so Wow. Thank you. You don't have to put in the time. If you put if you had money to, behind you, go uh -huh. that way. I don't like that way. I've always done that way and I've always failed. So uh -huh. listen, I like to go slowly and that's that works best for me. It might not work for you, but that's what works for me. Nice. The island style. Go to slow. <laughs> yeah, go to slow. <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I can't believe it, this time is up already. I know. Uh, I am shocked to see it's half an I told hour. you it goes very quick, uh, but yeah. I appreciate you. We're going to end with a, a music video uh, by Tatiana Cooper. And I thank you. Just hang out with me for a minute in the chat room for a minute. And uh, we'll be right up. Uh, you and I will be back when we get off the air. Just give me two thank seconds. You. All right, guys. Uh, so thank you to my viewers. Anybody out there? I, ca I can see you there, but I can't see who it is. So I'm going to assume that's Grandma Norma. And uh, maybe Gina, I couldn't see who it is. Uh, I can't see who it is until after I get off. So I apologize, guys. Uh, but if you had any questions, you could have typed them in. And I could ask and I can always ask John and, and send it back to you another time. So uh, I thank you and appreciate you for taking I'll the time. Let's see, the, let's see what questions are asked. Yeah, the, I know. Mm -hmm. I can't, when, If I get them, I'll let you know because I can't see. Uh, okay. And how do they? Oh, how do we find you? Is there a is there a website? You can get on Facebook or oh, Facebook or, um, or email. Facebook, John, uh, John, John, my email John underscore one zero zero term T E R M. That's right. John underscore one. John underscore one zero zero one hundred uh -huh. term T E R M. Oh. Yeah, yeah. At Yahoo. Dot uh, oh, ca not .com, .ca for Canada. Wait a minute. Term. Oh, God, I cannot see this letters for the term at 
Yahoo. Yahoo.com? No, no. No, that's no. CA. I live in Canada. Canada has CA. America has CA. Oh. CA. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, there you go. And okay. you, you can there. get me on Facebook. I'm John DePaz. That's right. You can inbox me. You can. Yep, there it is. And I don't okay. accept any friends because I have too many scammers around and oh. you don't know who is friend and who is foe. Oh, so then, okay. So, guys, if you want to reach him, reach him through the email. It's better. Uh, yeah. Okay. And you can always reach out to me as well. So, thank you, John. Uh, it's been a pleasure learning about garlic. I'm, I'm now you're going to have me go around and have a box of garlic in my house. So they're going to be like, there you go. <laughs> what is this girl doing? It's John's fault. So, thank, thank you. you. All righty. Uh, I'll get, I'll get right back to you in a moment. Let me see. Ready? Hold on. <laughs>